when colleges struggle with room and staff utilisation, what tends to happen is that often they haven't got the data systems in place to identify the problem in the first instance. We often play a game called room bingo, where you run a timetable off the system, walk around the college and try and find a class that meets the slot that's assigned. Quite often what you tend to find is people have timetabled rooms without actually using them. In terms of solving the problem of rooming and staff utilisation, what we recommend is the colleges get the core data right. They make sure they've got the staff names, they understand how many hours each member of staff is contracted to teach, and then they set the timetables up against the relevant courses. But also, and the CAPTA system does it, ensure that a register has been generated for every timetable session. So you quickly get over the problem of apparently no rooms, and very busy staff if you bring it back down to the core data which is do we know who the staff are have we identified what they're doing have we timetabled it and ultimately has a register been produced for it as tenant education training and skills we've been working with the sector over the past few years to develop a dashboard system which effectively is called for performance which monitors performance against certain key indicators We've designed the key indicators, we've put them on a web-based platform and Capita with us are in the process of selling this and rolling this out to the sector. The benefit of it is that it doesn't require you to go out and implement a costly standalone system where you have to input all the data, collect the data, do it basically from scratch. The purpose of Fault Performance is to monitor the key performance indicators at the high level, point out where the problems, utilising information that you currently produce, take ILR data, management accounts data, success rate data, so as a college it doesn't require you to do much more than you currently do to get some very, very powerful data in which to monitor and manage the college. We often go in and try and support colleges and help colleges to make efficiency savings. Whenever we've done the reviews to try and identify what the efficiency savings, it comes down to five fundamental things. The first one is that the staff are not being utilised as effectively or efficiently as they could be. Many colleges pay for sessional staff that they don't need because they've got the resources in-house to deliver it themselves. The second one is group size. Some colleges can't calculate it. They tell us they can. They normally give us an answer of about 14 or 15. In reality, most colleges achieve less than 11, and our advice to colleges is to be honest about the data, truly understand the group size. If you can push it up, then you can make some significant savings. Success rates, again, there's, um, we've just issued a report on looking at success rates. Many colleges don't improve success rates on an ongoing basis. They'd rather change how they capture the data as opposed to dealing with the fundamental issue of the, the quality in teaching and learning. And there's less confidence in the benchmarks these days than there, are, than there has ever been before, simply because people know what other providers do to maximise success rates. But if you get on top of your success rates, an improvement in success rates will, will bring you a financial benefit. The fourth one is um, curriculum efficiency. So that's the number of hours a college delivers against the number of hours it gets paid. Most colleges tend to teach by about 8%, but there are abilities to make savings there in terms of teaching bigger groups, in terms of teaching a number of groups together under a common unit. So curriculum efficiency, not simply through the, the funding methodology, but also through, through innovative delivery models. And the final one is support costs. I have a frustration within, within many organisations, they spend money in the wrong places, and quite often, Rather than deal with the fundamental structure, the systems and processes, it's easier just to say, well, we don't, we don't want to do that, we'll cut out that member of staff. I think support cost savings can be made. MIS teams work incredibly hard all year to try and correct errors that have been made as part of the curriculum planning process. If you've got the planning process right, you could make some significant savings. So those are the five key areas we tend to find savings, but we also work with colleges to make those savings. Identifying them is the easy bit, actually driving the, the, the saving through is the hard bit.